Alrighty, Lumberjacks, I just wanted to give you guys a really quick update on something that's kind of cool. So this is a, this is a system that I actually developed uh, on the fixed heads, but I wasn't able to get working on the dangle heads, but now I, now I have. So um, basically what this is, is I'm going to be calling it the FDR logging uh, stable log system. <laughs> so what it is, is you see, I, I'm just switching over to the collision mode here so you can see what's going on under, underneath what you normally see. So I did show this off in a previous video, and what it is, is it's basically a spring-weighted uh, plate that sits. So like I said, I don't know if I can pick this up. Oh yeah. I can pick it up and lift it up and drop it. So what this is is a spring-operated plate that applies pressure to the logs to keep them stable. That's why I'm calling it kind of the uh, the stable log system. So I I had a little bit of playing around on the uh, fixed heads and it worked out really well. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to close the grapple uh, tighter uh, or not quite as tight on the logs, but still keeping them stable. So for instance, uh, let's just hop in this guy real quick. So before what would happen is you'd go pick up a log and you'd have to squeeze it like super tight to keep it in the grapple. Otherwise, it would kind of bounce around, slide around, unless you used locking straps. So most of the fixed heads have locking straps, but none of the dangle heads have locking straps anymore. So what this does is it almost creates a fake locking strap system. So when I go in, that invisible plate's actually touching the log. You'll probably see the log move a little bit if I touch it. See how the logs are kind of moving just a little bit when I touch it? Um, but if I go in and I grab these, that pressure plate sits on those logs. See, now I don't have the, the grapple fully closed. Like, I have it pretty pretty lightly grabbed right now. Like, so normally what would happen is if you go to turn the logs, they would kind of fly around super violently and make a big mess. But with that pressure spring system, it actually is applying, and I can see if I can see it here, uh, it's actually applying weight onto that piece. So you see it, as I pick up, I'm just trying to get a really good view for you guys to see. So as I squeeze the log tighter, that plate goes up. As I lower it, the plate goes down and actually pushes it up and down. So now you guys, uh, when you're playing, I just want you guys to all be aware, on the next update that's coming out here, um, and it's already like this on most of the fixed heads, but I've done a little bit of improvement there as well, but you don't have to squeeze it to the point where it's crushing the log anymore. You can actually just even lightly grab it and it sits in the grapple quite nicely because of that pressure spring plate. So this is something uh, I really wanted to do with the dangle heads on the last update, but there was a lot of balance issues and I couldn't get them to uh, kind of stay straight. So like I said, now you don't have to actually like squeeze them because if you squeeze them, they kind of they glitch out, right? But now you don't actually have to squeeze them that tight. You can actually just put a little bit of pressure on them and it still keeps them quite even for if you're doing loading or if you're, uh, you know, unloading vehicles. It's actually really efficient. Uh, so hopefully that'll make life a little bit easier. So I know we can't get exactly perfect like the Giants ones where you can squeeze them super tight. But um, this is the best we can do with the, uh, with the FDR system. And it's actually working out really good. So uh, I just wanted to post this update so that you guys are aware of that system uh, for when it does come out in the next update. Because uh, it is a pretty cool feature, and I, I just don't want you guys squeezing the logs as hard as you have to anymore, because it is pretty cool. So yeah, anyway, just a quick, uh, quick little what's up, but uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.